welcome back all of you to the next uh, second session on this uh, configurator uh, part two actually in part one we have already seen uh, uh, about uh, how to make a different uh, models option classes and then a hybrid model also so in now configurator two what happens we'll be concentrating more on the configurator as well as the post configurator also <coughs> so let us now go on and begin now begin our activity so let me go on the share my screen now <coughs> You're able to see my screen now. Anybody can uh, say yes to me? <coughs> yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Now, what happens uh, for demonstrating the configurator? I have made a slight modification on this now. This is a configurator exercise which will be uploading into the drive actually later on. And then uh, what happens? We'll be having a desktop mod on the top actually in 1001. And then we'll be having four option classes: 1002, 1003, 1004, and 1005. And then every option class will be having three, three items. And then for the first one, what happens? I'm now going to have four items actually. <clears throat> I know that. So, uh, and then afterwards, this will be having three, three items. Fine. These components are already created now. Fine. We have already created these components. And then you can now see all these things are there. And then I have given the pricing also, the prices. 6,009 will be having a price of 9. 10 will be having a price of 10 and so on, so on up to 21 now. And then uh, what happens? Option classes need not have to have any prices at all. But model need to have a price the model must be having a price so some companies will be selling the model with some base price and then he will now ask them ask the customer to configure different options and then they will be add on actually so either you have to give the model price as a zero and then what happens is build everything right from scratch or otherwise give a price for the model and then keep them as order add-ons and whichever way you're going to configure again but what happens it must have either a zero price or some price if the price is not given what happens it will not be working on the order management at all any moment model must have a price Either a zero or some price, depending upon the company. So I am now going to have what happens? So four option classes going to be created, and then one model. And then for this exercise, what happens? I have already created the 7002, 7003, and then 7004 option classes now. Fine. I will not show you the 7005. I have not created it. So 7005 and 7001, I will not create. So let me go on and create the 7005 now. First of all, go there. So here I will not give a cancel now. I click on done now. Go there. So option class three. Seven close now. So here, what I'm going to do is I will now create the seven thousand four for this now. I'm going to click on it now. Create it now. I will now use what before creating the item. What happens? I have now created one more item class actually. Uh, I will now show it to you. I have now created an item class. It is called a configuration item class. For this exercise, I have now created one more item class now. Click on it. So click on set up and maintenance and then go there. Go to search, manage item class. Go to the manage item class. <clears throat> Here in the root item class, what happens if you go there? If you click on edit and then go to the item management, here what happens here? Configuration item number generation is none. So it has been used like this now. Fine, it's a user defined, user defined, and none now. And now what happens? I have now created a new one now for our uh, configuration. I have now created a class called configuration class now. I created a class called configuration class now. If you go there and then click on edit now. And then here, if you go to the item management, you can now see what happens. It will be inherited actually. Fine. It is inherited from parent. So here, what happens? The configurated item will be created by the SEO process. The supply chain orchestration process will be creating the configuration item. So now we have to use this class for this. So configuration class is the one which I use. And then here, what happens? It is going to be inherited for the configuration item actually. And you can cancel. So the other setups, everything has been explained on part one. So watch that part one and then uh, look at other steps. Fine, this is one variation as far as the setup is concerned now. It must be inherited. Remember, I go there, click on it now. There. And then let us now go ahead and then create the item assets. You are now going to get the final option class now. Fine, the first three has already been created by me. I go there, click on it. Sorry, <clears throat> you go there. And then you click on what happens. You go to the product management and then go to the product information management and then I am going to create the item. Click on it. So click on create it now. <clears throat> I'm creating item. So it's an item is 98. I'm now putting my master or go here now. So the class is a configuration item. Remember? Conf, C O N F. You go and I'm going to put it. And then go there. Throw away this uh, the template now. Fine, go there and then choose your ADO option class. 
get you option class i'm choosing it and then bring it over here now and click on okay now and then i'm not going to give the final <coughs> one on this now on the lower level on this level now, on this level so 7002 7003 7004 as i've indicated 7005 i'll not show it to you directly so for 7005 whatever they'll not take a copy of it now right so take a copy of 7005 and go there there's the fourth option class i'll go there and then paste it over here now so i have some extra spaces fine go there delete it delete it and then i will not take a copy of it and then put on the description now and then let me add a description also description and add here so this is a description there's that one i go there i go to the associations and then let me associate the child or directly go there go to the associations good actions and then go to select an act and then i'm going to associate the child or confine 981 is a one and then entry now <clears throat> you know choose it and then click on apply and then blah. now we are going to get the bomb fine we know go on the get over so go to the structures and then we'll not get a bomb for this one go to the structures now <clears throat> and then watch my first video i explained everything here i'm going a bit fast now because since it's already explained on the first uh, configurator part one fine it's all explained fully and so here i'm not uh, uh, taking much of time go to the actions and then go to what create now. i'm going to create now. so i will now create a primary one now go there primary click on apply and add details and then i'm going to add the details now and go there click on it actions and then go to self and add now so we go to self and add now <clears throat> go there so here this one 7005 is going to have 19 20 and 21 as a components now fine go there i will now go and then query 601 and then query now so 19 i will now add it first of all now and go there you go down and then let me add 19 over here now fine. select it and then click on apply and okay now 19 is now getting added now and then afterwards, I will now add 20 and 21. <clears throat> Fine, go there. Go to keep your cursor on this place. When you keep a cursor on this place, we cannot have the select and Fine, go there. It will not be coming. So you have to keep your cursor on the 7005 and then do it now. Fine, go there. 7005. And then go to select and then close the select and add now. So go there. <clears throat> it's what? It is 20 and 21. Fine, go there. So click on search and then here what happens? 602. I will not put it on. 602. 602. And then click on it now. <clears throat> So 602 is there, 602. <coughs> so here, 19 is already added, 20 and 21. So I'll now add 20 and 21 and select it. And then with the control, I'm selecting both now, find 20 and 21. And click on apply and then click on OK. So by which what happens, all the three components of this are added now. Fine, 19, 20 and 21. Now, what we have to do is we have to enable the options of this. Fine. The graphic cards must be optional. The joystick must be optional. And then the mouse pad is an included item. Actually. It'll be coming along with it now. <coughs> so whenever he is opting for or graphics card or joystick or both what happens the mouse pad will be given to him free of cost actually so we have to make these two things as option so once when you make it as option what happens is they become a competing options actually for which what happens if you go there if you click on directly edit what happens you won't be finding the options and mutual exclusive over here now so for which what happens we have to enable in the display basically it's not coming over here now i to cancel now. so for which what happens you go there go to the view and then in the view what happens if we have go to the component level order management? I'm not clicking on it. Fine, go there. I'm not enabling it. Now, if you go for edit, you'll be getting it now. And then here, what happens? You're not going to put tick on the options now. Fine, go there. So this option means what? Uh, it is now a competing option section. And then we can even set up the minimum and maximum order quantity also. Fine. I'm now putting it as this as one and this as two. Fine. Whichever way you feel like you can do it. It is not a mandatory one. You can even remove it also. That means what? More than two quantities, we cannot select it. Fine. Whichever, if, if you want to restrict the customer from selecting it, we can even put a restriction on this. I'm not leaving it as such now. And mutually exclusive, we cannot select now. For standard items as well as model items, mutually exclusive is not possible for us to select. Please take notes of it now, fine. Only for option, only for what happens, standard item, we can have a mutual class. And then the mutual exclusive is available only for option classes. Option classes can only have a mutual exclusive. Both the standard items as well as model items cannot have the mutual exclusive now. So option is now selected. Fine, go there. Click on OK now. So the first one is a competing options actually. Fine, go there. So I have now done on 6020 actually. Fine, go there. Click on it. I think I have now done on 6020 actually. So 6020, fine, go there. No, 6020 has been optional, has been enabled. Fine, go there. 6019 also I had to make it. Fine, go there. Click on it now. I will not keep my cursor on the 19. While I'm talking, what happens? I may even make some mistakes. Please correct me if I make a mistake then and there now. Yeah. Tell me somebody is asking. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was uh, talking to me, but when click on edit now, go there. I will now enable the option over here. Now. Optional is enabled. Go there, click on okay. So 19 and 20 are competing options. So the customer has to choose either graphics card or joystick or both. If he chooses the mouse pad, it will be given to him free. It's the included item actually. I click on done now. Fine, by which what happens? The structure is now fully created. So 7005 is now fully created. Fine, go there. Click on save and close now. By which what happens? It is not done. So we are now completed creation of 7005. Now we have to create the bomb for the child or 
and go there click on it now i will now go to the browse items and then query the 7005 over here now so the 7005 is going to be queried now find go there because 7005 and then click on enter now find you're going to query it now and you can see the bottom so the top one is a mass star find 980 and then there's 981 find go there click on edit now find we are now create a bomb also and click on it now. so click on the underline find go there go to the structures now find go there we will not be having any structure so when you copy when you are assigning it what happens only the item gets assigned and then the structure is not assigned but structure has to be created each and everything go there. so uh, structure is not assigned but item is assigned actually you go there go to the actions and then here what happens i'm not going to create it but i will be creating from a common one. so that is the best practice you watch my configurator one i would explain a lot about it now if i click on create from common i will not go and then get a common so 7005 i'm going to create from common actually go there i will not choose the master or go here now find the bill is now available in the master i'm going to common it to child so 7005, I'm going to comment it now. Give it 7005 and then give it a tab now. So once when you give it a tab, it will be available over here now. <clears throat> it is not coming. Fine, click on OK. Which what happens? It gets commented to the child. Your yeah, concurrent will be running for commenting it now. Fine. Once when it is completed, what happens? You can now go and save it now. So after some time, what happens? You can now see this also. So the next one is what? We have to go and then create the model. Fine. So the model will be housing all the four actually. Fine, go there. So while I'm creating these bills, what happens? I'm now mentioning the option. Fine, go there. When I'm creating this, what happens? The option class bills now basically. I'm now making the standard options as options. And then when I create the model, what happens? I will now add these components and then what happens? I'll be setting up this OP and ME now. OP is optional and then ME is mutual exclusive. Fine, go there. So what I'm going to do. So I've already done it now. Fine, go there. Click on save and close now. And then once when you save and close, what happens? This gets created now. <coughs> Click on that now. Now we are going to get the final bill. That is the model bill now. Fine. <coughs> I have already created these three bills now. Fine. There's no just now for demonstration purposes. I left it as such now. Fine. I done it. So in a similar fashion, what happened? There are other things have been created. Now let us go and then get the model. Fine. So those known model I'm going to get. Click on it now. So click on create it now. <coughs> I'm now going to get a model now. Fine. Go there. It's a nine eight. And then I'm now populating the mask now. Fine. Go there. I will now put the configuration class now. See why enough conf. It's a configuration class now actually. You click on the configuration class and then throw it out and go there. And then here you choose the ATO manufactured item and the template. And the template has been fully explained on my configurator one. Fine, go and then have a look at it now. Fine, how to make it template on this now. Fine, click on OK now. So now it's not done. <clears throat> now it's a model item actually. Go there. So here what happens, I will not make a big name because what happens, the configuration item will be this star a running number. So what happens sometimes uh, there will be a character limitation. So I don't want to make a big model like this. So I'll now make a simple one now. So 7001 underscore model. Fine. Like this. I'm not putting it now. Fine. Go that model. So that what happens. It's a small one. I'm not putting the big one now. Fine. Go there. Take a copy of it now. And then click on the description now. And then I will now put description also. Go there. Not a, go there. Go to the associations then associate with the child or <clears throat> So configuration classes then. Fine. Go there. So the previous one I made as a configuration class. Now fine. I'm not just having a doubt. Anybody can confirm me that the previous one which I made is a, a configuration class only. <clears throat> go there, go to actions and then go to select and now. <clears throat> so 981 now. And then click on enter now. Fine, I'm going to associate it now. I'm going to click on apply that. So it's all done now. Fine, go there, go to the structures and then here. What happens? I'm not in the structure now. Fine, go there, click on the structures. I'll be getting a structure now. Fine, go, there. go to actions and then go to what happens? I'll create now. I'm not going to create it. So I will be, it will be of a primary now. The structure will be of a primary, fine. Drop it down and then make it as a primary, fine. Put it as a primary. And then click on apply and add details, fine. We are now applying and add details. So we are going to have these four, 7002, 7003, 7004, 7005 are the components of this model actually. Then go there. So it's already selected and then go to actions and then go to select and add. So I will now put the 7000 over here now and then query for it. 700, I'm querying it now. It's not showing all the four now. So I will now go and then select it with the control now. Find the control I'm selecting all the four now. And click on it, click on it, click on it. And then click on apply and OK by which what happens? All the four option classes are now added to the model actually. So all are now I will go there, go to the view, and then I will now enable the component level order management now. Find go there is no done. I will not choose the first component now, it's already done. Fine, go there, click on it now, fine, go there, click on it. Now, if the optional is off now, it becomes what? It's a mandatory option class. So the customer has to choose either the 8GB RAM the desktop or the 16GB RAM desktop. Out of the two competing components, he has to choose one of them. Basically. So this is awesome. And if I make mutually exclusive on, remember, only for the option classes, we can make it now. Not for the standard and model items, we cannot make it at all. Mutual access is not, cannot be possible. Thank you that you Now then, what happens? So he can choose only at the maximum of one only. So mutually exclusive will now restrict the maximum selection to one 
the minimum can be zero but since optional is off zero is not possible one so this is known as one and only one now this is known as one and only one so below this option class he can choose only one the, the minimum one and the, at the maximum one so this gets automatically added to the desktop actually find this out so order the these two components so op is on op is op is no and then me is yes no actually fine go there is not a so op is no and then me is yes fine go there click on okay the first one is no selected and now go for the 7003 now fine go there click on 7003 so once you put the 7003 the number has to change now fine no change actually fine click on edit now and then have a look at the top also fine have a look at the top also fine 7003 is coming fine go there for which what was op is no and then me is also no fine go there so this means what it is a mandatory option class but you can choose any number of components if me is not on you can choose any number of components on fine that means what you can choose the two year warranty as well as ups as well as exclusion test all the three you can choose fine whenever it chooses one or any what happens one or all fine uh, the broadband will be included so it's no no what is nothing i have done now fine go there i will not choose the third component now. that is 7004 now so you can now see 7004 has come back click on edit now and then i'm going to see this one <coughs> go there so for which what happens here optional is just mutually exclusive also yes now go there so optional is yes that means what it is a mandate it is not a mandatory one it is optionally optional you can choose it or you cannot choose it also but at the maximum you can choose only one so both of them are on means what at the maximum you can choose it one so if you go for a camera you can choose either the 720p camera or a 1080p camera only one of the cameras you can choose and then when he chooses the external mic becomes a free item for you the, whenever the option is not selected it is a free item and go there so op is on and then me is on now go there. What is, not a fact, okay now <clears throat> and then we don't go for the final components on this now final component of this bill now and go there. 7005 cannot see the 7005 is going to come now fine go there uh, 7005 has not come now fine. Click on it. so when you select now 7005 has come now fine go there click on it now now you go there and then you need to find go there. It is no optional is yes and then ME is no no. Fine go there. So optional is yes, it is optional and then ME is no means what? If you want, you can choose everything also on this one. ME is not on fine. Okay, now fine. You can choose all the things, all the components of this bill now. Fine, this. What is that? You can choose the graphics card as well as the joystick also. Fine. So or he may even miss both of these. So these two are basically uh, he can he may choose, he may not choose, but he has to mandatorily choose these two things. Fine goes. It's all done now. Fine, go there, click on it now. Fine, go there. So click on done and then come out of it and then give a save and close. So the model, 7001 underscore model is ready. Fine, go there, click on it and click on save and close. Now we have to create the bomb in the child actually by commenting it. Fine, go there, click on it now. You go there and then you go to the what's called the browse items and then query the 7001. <coughs> go there. So 7001, I'm going to query now. Fine, let me enter in and then query now. Go there, click on it. So 7001, I'm going to query. Fine, click on it now. 7000 model is coming. Fine, go there, what else? So once when the model is coming, fine, go there. It is now in 981 is my child, 980 is the master now, fine, go there. Go to the structures and then here, what happens? I'm going to get the structure. Click on it now, fine, go there, click on it. And then you go to actions and then go to what? Create from common now, fine. We're going to create from common now. Click on it, 7001. So we'll be creating for the master architecture. And click from common, drop it down. And then we go to master. So it is customary to create all the builds in the master. And then what happens? The common child. So that what happens? The master organization, which is nothing but the design and drawing organization, will be having the complete control of what happens? The structure maintenance, basically. Seven thousand one is the one. I'm now giving a tab now. So by which the model is coming. Click on OK. By which what happens? The concurrent will be running for commoning. So whenever a change happens in the master, it will be getting immediate effect on the child. Click on now. So it's not done. So you wait for some time, and then before saving and close because the concurrent is running now. So after having done this, what happens? I am now going to create the work definition for this now. Fine, the work definition I'm going to create now. And remember, we have already seen all these components of uh, how to create this standard components. Fine, go there. They are not done in the, what happens? The normal rotating class here. What happens? All of them are on the, on the configuration class actually. Fine, all of them are on the configuration class. So we are done it. So we go there and then create a work definition for this now. And then afterwards, we will now jump into configurator directly. So some time has elapsed, and then what happens afterwards? What happens? The concurrent is now running. Fine, go there. Click on seven, close now. So by this time, the concurrent would have completed for what happens? Uh, commenting it now. Fine, click on seven, close. So it's all done now. Fine, the structure is now completed. Fine, go there. Let us now go to manufacturing and then get the work definition. Fine, click on it now. Fine. Click on the home, and then you go to the manufacturing now. Fine, click on the manufacturing, and then click on the work definition, and then let me create the work definition. So we are going to go to the work definition, and then now change the, the organization is already nine eight one. Fine, otherwise you change the org and then bring it to your child org now. Fine, go there. So click on it. So remember the organization must be a proper organization. Fine, go there, click on it now. And then go to the manager work definitions. And then now here, what happens on 981? I'm not going to query my model now. Fine, go there. So 7001, 
if no there will not be anything at all fine if you go on and query you know we have to create the work definition so you won't be finding anything at all and there is not there at all fine that so i have to give a plus on the grade okay so click on plus on that it does not create the work definition for the site and all that so i will not put the item 7001 and then give a tab so once you give a tab the model is coming fine go there the structure name has to come as primary is not it coming the structure name has to come as primary now so give a cancel now <clears throat> i think maybe the concurrent may be running now so because of which is not run fine go there no wait for the concurrent to complete now it can copy it over there <coughs> come more now what the schedule the process so refresh or promising and okay this is a different one now so that means what no concurrent is really running actually what happened now go there one space and then click on plus now Will now see seven thousand one now, and then give it tab now. Ah, oh, it's correct. So it takes some time actually. Fine, you have to wait for it till the structure name as a primary is coming. Now, fine, wait for some time till everything gets completely correct. Fine, go there. Click on drop down and then make it as a main now, main now, and then click on next. Actually, I click on next now. We go to the next now. Seven thousand one model is now created. I have already created uh, two such. Uh, what happens? Uh, my uh, this thing that I have already shown you on part one now. Fine, how to create. what about how to set up the manufacturing has been explained on my configurator part 1 now fine you just refer it and then there will be him so i will not choose the desktop assembly as my one of the one of the standard operations now it is basically reference now fine go there click on plus now then let me add the second one also I click on it and then drop it down and then choose the second one also fine i know good how so a desktop assembly and testing of the two standard operations which i am going to use it for this exercise now fine go there click on it and then click on what next <clears throat> so it's okay and then click on save and edit actually So I have added three, two standard operations now, which how to create everything is now explained on what happens. My configurator one actually fine. Complete setup of manufacturing has been explained over there. So click on seven grid. So we are going to go on the grid. So we will now add the components actually. And then here we are going to see and see all the four what happens. Your option classes are going to come up over here now fine. The three, four, three, three or the components of this now fine. Seven thousand two, seven thousand three, seven thousand four, seven thousand five are coming. So add it to the first operation now fine. Click on it now fine. You click on it. And then drag it now. Fine, go there. Click on it. Does it not showing you the nine, ten, eleven? Now, fine. Go there. Click on it. Drag it. You drag it and then add it. Fine. By which whatever you cannot see, it will be getting added now. Below the tenth operation, now, fine. You cannot see item is now added. Now, fine. Seven thousand two is added. So similarly, what happens? We have to go on and choose the seven thousand three. So to go back one level, what happens? You can click on this arrow. Fine. Click on the home arrow. It will be going back one level now. So click on home arrow. Now, what happens? You click on the seven thousand three now. Fine. Go there and then add it. Seven thousand three. Fine. Go there. Drag it. And then keep it below this now. Fine. Just see it's now getting highlighted. Fine, go there, click on it. So you can now see item one is there. So it will now become two now. <clears throat> Items will now show as two now. So wait for some time. It's now showing as two now. So you go there and then click on uh, back again. So the order will be going back one level now. Fine, click on it. Seven thousand three is added now. Now you will now choose seven thousand four now. Fine, click on it now. Sometimes when you click on it, order will be opening up over here. You know, just close it now. Fine, go there. Seven thousand four is there. Just click on it. Tara, tara, tara. You can drag it and then pull down the space now. <clears throat> So that it will not become three now. Fine, go there. So now it is it has not gone back. So what happens? You can even choose the seven thousand. What happens? Seven thousand five directly now. Fine, go there. Two, three, and then four is now done. Fine, go there. Seven thousand five, and then let me drag it and drop it. Seven thousand five, go there. Drag and drop. So once when you are choosing the option classes, what happens? The components cannot be added at all. Remember, if an option class is added to the wheel. What about the components cannot be added? Fine, there is the one thing which you have learned now. Fine, go there. What else? So if you click on the item, what happens? It will not show you. It will not expand and then show you. Fine, all things. Fine, two, three, four, and five are available. When an option class is added to a what happens? A work definition. The components of the option classes cannot be added. Now, one thing which you have learned. Fine, go there. Click on seven close by which what happens? No work definition is gone. Click on seven close. So I have completed the work definition as well as the structure creation. Now. Any doubts on this? Now we are going to jump into what happens? Configurator now directly. So click on it, and then it does not go to the configurator directly. And go there. So click on it, and then go to the product management, and then here what happens? You go to what happens? The configurator model. You click on the configurator model. So here, what happens? I will now first of all we have to take a snapshot of this and go there. So let we have to work on a workspace. Let us now go on and get a workspace. So I will now go to the manage workspace now. Fine. So click on the manage workspace, and then let me create a workspace. I will now say call it as what seven thousand one workspace. So let me create a workspace now. Fine, go there. Click on it. Take a copy right now. Now the effective start date must be in future. Actually, fine, go there. It must be future. Now. This is equivalent to a department, isn't it? Ah, uh, it is not a department. It is not a department. It is a, it is a pure configurator now. 
fine. Department is equivalent to the work center, I think. Work center or work area. Please watch my what happens my first video. So the first video will tell you which is the department actually. Fine. My first video will not tell you which is the department that will be. So this is a configuration purely fine. Go that way on it. And then here, what happens? You should not give the same time. If you give the same time, what happens? It will not throw an error actually. Fine. Click on it. Okay now. And then what happens? It no say what happens. The date must be on or after the current date actually. So it will not be accepting it actually. Fine. Go there. Now uh, for the uh, understanding purposes, what happens? You know again going to correct it actually. Fine. So I will not put some more date now. Go there. Click on okay. So that what happens? It will not throw any error for me. If I click on save and close by which what happens? The workspace is now created. Now we have to add our model into the workspace. Basically. If I click on it now, fine. I'm going to add the model. Click on it now, fine. Open it up and then let me add it. Now. So the workspace is there. You have to add your workspace participant as a, a model has to be added to the workspace participant. If I click on actions and then here select and add. And then do not add the snapshot, but the models you want. Fine. Go there. Go to the models and then let me add the model. And go there. So click on it. 7001. If you go on and query, the model will not be visible here at all. So once when you create the model and then the work definition, that is the structure as well as the routing in 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 the what happens in the base application. What you have to do is you have to take a snapshot and then bring it into the what happens the configuratory area. So then only it will be available. Fine. You cancel now and go there. So here what happens? We have to first take a snapshot now before what happens? We start our work. Fine. Go there. Click on it now. You go there. You click on it and then go to manage snapshots by which what happens? We are going to create a snapshot of what we have done now and go there. So go to actions now. I'm now into the manage snapshots area. So so this snapshot is, is equivalent to the request we used to run in EBS to collect the bomb and routing into the into the CZ schema. Into the into the the CZ schema that is the configurator ah, schema. Ah, ah, ah. You know, for, unfortunately, what happens? I don't know configurator in EBS basically. <laughs> oh. I know only order management configurator, but the real configurator in EBS is not known. But maybe it may be the equivalent of it now to bring it to the schema actually. So this, who is this? So this is Surajit. Sir. Surjit, fine. Anybody has got any doubts on the EBIS configurator? What happens? I talk to Surjit, he will be able to help you out. No, fine. I'm not aware of it. So it may be an equivalent of it. So once when you take a snapshot, what do you mean by snapshot? When you take a photograph, what happens? Whatever is now moving, everything will now come into the freezed format in the in the photograph. Afterwards, people will be moving here and there, and then they now go away. Similarly, when you take a snapshot of the bill and uh, what happens, the definition, work definition, it comes as a picture over here. And then afterwards, when you make a change on the bill or routing, what happens, uh, there will not be any change in the configuratory area at all. So you go there and then take a snapshot of it and go to the actions and then here, go to the import model item. So in the manage snapshot area, what happens, you go to the actions and then go to import model item. Import model item. I'm going to import it now. Fine, go there. I will now query the model number. Fine, go there. 7001. I'm going to clear it now. No, search for it. It will not show both the things basically. Fine. What happens? It's preferable to bring it from the master actually. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? I will now add one more thing. Fine, go there. We will now have to have uh, what happens? Uh, uh, we have to add the organization also. How to add one more column here? As an actions. Okay, that's a different thing. Fine, go there. So this is only a saved search. I think. Fine. Search, we have to save it actually. <clears throat> if you can add what happens? The organization field also, that will be excellent actually. Otherwise, what happens? Go there. Go to import model. Nana, can you try going to advanced option? One second, okay. Maybe okay. there could be some <laughs> add page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you're correct. Who is this? Uh, this is Fasal. Fasal, yeah, very good. Fine. Fasal is very correct. Fine. Go there. Here, what happens? I will now add the organization also. Uh, structure item type. What is this? I mean, organization is not coming in the, in the selection box. Here, you can see whether it is there here itself or not. Snapshot, status, all these things are there now. I don't know how to add the org. <clears throat> if you add the org, it will be more appropriate because what happens? Uh, it has to be from the basic one only. From the from the master only, we are doing it now fine because we are now done. What happens? All the creation, the master. Now, fine. Seven thousand one. I'm giving a tab. I click on search now. <clears throat> so once only search, it will not show both the orgs now basically. Here it is not showing you the org actually. Item name starts with. I'm giving cancel now. <clears throat> click on done. I don't know why it's not coming as such now. So it will not go there. <clears throat> click on manage snapshots. And then go to actions and then go to, oh no, I was searching for it. So I had to import the model item. I click on the import model item. And then here, uh, can we add here also in the advanced maybe? You can go to the advanced. Okay, while you're uh, importing the model item, we can now add the org. I can click on this add fields now. And go there, click on add fields. So we'll now see, try to add the org now. <clears throat> what happened? You got cancel now. Actions import model item is a somewhat slow. What happens? I was clicking somewhere here and there actually. 
I will not go to the advanced now. I click on the advanced. If you add a long one, what happens? It will be giving a problem. That's why what happens? I'm not giving a lot of stress on this now. Fine, do that. So click on the add fields now. Fine, click on add fields now. The add fields with org is coming along. We'll see now. <clears throat> if org comes in, that will be excellent now. Otherwise, what happens? We'll not search on the same thing itself. <clears throat> Oh God, it has not got grayed out of it. Some issues, man. Actually, my machine is now giving some problem for the past few days, actually. It's not immediately coming as such. No? So try to add it to the org and then do it now. Fine. Normally, the first org will be the master org. The second org will be the child org now. Oh God, it has got totally locked, actually. So let me go there. And then here, I will not go there. Click on it now. I will not go to the product management and then go to the configurator models now. <clears throat> here, I am in the configurator model now. I will not go there. I will not go to the manage snapshots. Okay, you see, it's come, it's not coming. So go to actions and then go to import model item. And then let me go to the direct. It's 1001 is the one. And then click on search now. If you can add the org, it will be excellent. Fine. The first one is there because it's not showing anywhere the org at all. Fine. The first one is there. Fine. Go there. I will not select. <coughs> and then click on submit. So by submitting it, what happens it will be? Uh, basically, submitting this one, I'll click on submit now. 7001 is not done. Anyway, so 1330 is the concurrent now. Fine, it is not submitted. So a snapshot is now taken, and then what happens? It will be coming over you now. And go there. 7001. You have to wait till the concurrent completes now. Fine, click on search now. Fine, if you search, the snapshot will be coming. So click on search now. Fine. <clears throat> so wait for the concurrent. Yes, it's not completed. Now we have taken a snapshot of the model, and then it comes with the released status remember. So if it is released, what happens? We cannot edit at all. We cannot do the editing at all. Fine. The snapshot cannot be edited in the workspace now. Fine. Go there. Click on the now. So let me try to add the snapshot into my workspace now. Fine. Click on the now. So the snapshot is now completed. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Uh, now go and then query my workspace now. Fine. The workspace is already there. I click on it now. So let me add the snapshot to my workspace now as a workspace participant. So workspace participant, I'm going to add it. Fine. Go there. Click on action. And then go to self add. Fine. Go there. So click on self add. If I add the snapshot, I cannot do edit at all. Fine. Click on item, item snapshots to go there. And then query for the 7001. Since it is in a released status, what happens? We cannot do anything at all. Fine. Status release. Fine. Click on apply. And then click on OK now. So by which, what happens? You know, see item snapshot currently released. If you go there, there is no hyperlink at all below the model for editing it. So don't add the snapshot to the workspace, but add the model itself. Remember, fine, add the model. I go there and then let me delete it now. Go there. So don't add the snapshots. The snapshot is a released one. And then if you don't have a configurator, we can directly put it up on the sales order. You go there, click on it, and then let me delete it now. So it's going to be deleted now. Fine, go there. And then add the model. Fine, go there. Click on done. <clears throat> and then again come back and then open up the space. And then here, the workspace part is I mean, good actions and self add and not the snapshot, but the model that. Self add on the model. Model you would add it. And go there. 7001. Go there. And then click on search now. It will not show you. It will not search only from the snapshot it has taken, not from the what happens your product. Product it will not take it from PIM basically. It is not taking from your uh, snapshot actually. And then I'm not showing you this is the model which is available for this now. Include all referenced models. Include updated item snapshots for the models. Fine. This is not required. Re uh, include only the one fine. Here, what happens if you see there are three references are there for the model. Fine, go there. The model is now having what happens? Uh, these four as a component. These four components are having this build. So all these things are called referenced components of the model now. So include only this now and not the second one now. Fine. It will not show you even all the items also. Fine. I don't want the items to be shown over here now. Items and other things, other things. So only put a first tick mark and then click on apply. Fine, please. Just clearly listen and then do it now. Fine. And then you, you import only what happens, select an ad for the model. And then only put the first tick mark. Otherwise, what happens, you'll be having plenty of items on your workspace. You'll be getting confused totally. Yeah, somebody's talking to me. Yeah, tell me. Okay, fine. Click on apply and then click on okay, fine. Please uh, keep your mics in a very proper fashion. Otherwise, what happens? Uh, I will not be able to hear you. What exactly you're doing? Fine, go there. It's not done. No, it has not come. There is no release at all on this. No, we can very well do this. Go there. Click, on, click on done. So now what happens? This model can be edited by many people actually. But anybody can edit it anywhere. Fine. <clears throat> If you cannot speak to me, what happens? You can now try to put a message in the chat. Somebody will now read the chat and then tell me. Okay? If anybody's uh, mic is not working and then they want to speak to me, then what happens? You can do it. Now, what happens? I am now logged in as what? 98 underscore EMP1 actually. Fine, go there. If you go and then see this now, it is now locked for me actually. Fine, go there. If you select it, what happens? It's already locked. So you can even unlock it also. Now, if I am locked it, what happens? Others cannot use it at all. Fine? It is only for me to edit now. Fine, go there. Let me go and then log in with the other user and then see now. I click on it now. I go there, I will not sign out, and then sign in. 
as the other user. It is 98 underscore EMP is a one. So let me log in with the G3 underscore EMP one. Fine, let me log in. Now this guy can see it, but we cannot edit it at all. Fine, go there. So he is now logging in now because that particular works part, workspace participant is now locked for me. I click on it. I go to the configurator model. Now. now he is able to see what happens. I will now go, he is now going to see his, his workspace is 2001. He go there, go to the manage workspace, then he is now going to query my workspace now. Can I go there? So he is now query. Whatever he has created will be displayed default. Otherwise, what happens? He has to query it now. He open the workspace now. And then he is opening my model, which is now locked for me. If you go there, what happens? Uh, it's unlock is there, fine. He can even unlock and undo it. Now. Fine, go there. What else? So you click on model now. If he's not doing anything, what happens? He go there. And then here, what happens? He's going to test the model. Now. Can I click on test model if you not allowing it now? Can I click on OK now? It will not allow it now. So it's no error. He cannot test the model because the following error is now locked by this EMP now. So once when a model is locked by somebody, what happens? That guy can only do the editing. If he wants somebody else to edit, he has to unlock and then leave it. And then, then only what happens? Somebody has to lock it and then do it. Is the concept clear now? Fine. This has to be locked. So the person who has locked is only having the editing capability, basically. Which, whichever user is now is a user level a locking, basically. So click on OK now. Fine. He cannot do any editing at all. Fine. Click on done now. Fine. Come on away. And then let us know log out and log in. So once when he, what happens, he go there, his workspaces will be shown over here. His default, he has created a workspace. Everything will be shown over here uh, when you go into the configured model. He has now created one workspace now. Fine. That workspace will be shown over here. So click on it now. Fine. Come out of it. So sign out of it now. And go there. And then let us now sign in into the us now. So click on config. Come out of it. And then here, let me sign in with this now. Fine. And here, go EMP. <coughs> go there. And then click on sign in now. We are signing in. Now this guy has already logged in. And then go there, click on it, and then click on the configurator model. He has created a workspace. It will now, by default, it will now display how many workspaces he has created. If you want to go to some other one, what happens? He'll now go there. He will now go and then go to the manage workspaces. And then say he wants to see 2001 now. He will now query this. And then if that is unlocked, he can even work on this workspace. Otherwise, he cannot work. I go there. So mine is 7001. So I will now click on it. So go there. Click on it, and then I will now click on the model. Fine. Remember, it is not uh, it is not edited actually. Fine. Go there. So click on this model now. <clears throat> and then before this, what happens if you go there and then see this now? Fine. Click on done now. Fine. Here, what happens? You go there. If you go to manage models now, fine. The snapshots we have seen, the workspace we have seen. If you go to the manage models, it will now show the version of the model basically. Fine. Go there. Seven thousand one is the one, and then entering now, it will now show the version of this. The snapshot has been taken, and then it is now having a zero point zero version. So the moment you release it, now it is in a draft mode. What happens? It will now become 1.0. And then afterwards, you make a change and then release it again. It will now become 2.0. So the latest version is always effective. Like in purchasing, in, in fusion purchasing or EBIS purchasing, the latest revision is only effective. The previous versions are not effective actually. So here, what happens? It will be on a 0.0, .0 version. And then as and when, what happens? You keep on releasing it. The successive releases will be having 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 like that. So one is in draft page, and then one is, one, one is what? This one uh, is a draft one. Fine. They're not showing you the version of it also. You'll now see that part also a bit bit. No, fine, what is <clears throat> yeah, somebody wants to speak to me again, but his mic is not working. So that's why what happens, you have to keep your mics is in a very perfect manner. Now. If your mic is not working, you may have a lot of doubts, and then you may not be able to speak to me. No? <laughs> is all clear? Anybody can uh, say yes to me till now? Anybody there? Hello. Is yeah. it clear? Huh? Go, go on, Nanda. I think uh, yes, I did not follow the last session, but it's uh, so far whatever you have discussed. It. <laughs> Who is this? This is Fazal, Nanda. Oh God, Fazal, you have to follow the first. You can go to my YouTube channel, Ananta Nana, and then there, what happens? You cannot see that the first part of it, no fine. You have to go through the first part, then only what happens, you'll be able to understand it now. Otherwise, what happens? I don't have time to explain again everything now. And then, no problem, no, no, sure. Thanks. I'll, I'll try uh, to yes, no, no. This configurator part workspace. Yes, yeah. that part is clear now. Okay, very good. Now, what happens? You go there, go to the workspace now. And click on, now, what happens? This model becomes editable. Now. I click on the model now. So, what happens in my workspace? The model is added and not the snapshot, remember. So click on the model underscore fine hyperlink on the model. What happens? Go there. It will now come into the edit mode actually. It will now come into the edit. Now it has got four option classes now shown over here. In many companies, what happens is these option classes are numbers actually. 
and then the description will be explaining all this thing wrong. So if you don't want to see the numbers and then you want to have the descriptions, what happens? They go there, view, and then click on view a description, and then what happens? View, and then click on view a description. Everything will be shown as a description. So in many places, what happens? They'll all be numbers now. Fine. The item numbers will be there, and then the description will be showing you exactly. So what happens? You can now change it to what happens? Description engine by view by description. The view by description. And then I can go on and test the model. Now, if I click on test model, so once in a test model, what happens? It will now ask you one thing. Fine, go there. So you will now enable the pricing also. If I click on enable pricing, and then I will now put my pricing strategy over here now. Fine, 98, and then I'm putting it now. Fine, go there. Click on it now. And then again, I will now give OK now. Click on OK. So by which, what happens? It's not coming. Fine, go there. It is not showing you all the options. Now, it will now explain you all these things now. Fine. The first one is a mandatory option class now. If you go on and have a look at it now, I go there. So the mandatory option class. That means what? It's the OP is no, and then M is yes, actually. That means what? You can choose only at the maximum of two of the competing options, 8 GB RAM or 16 GB RAM, and go there. You can choose either this or this. Fine. One of them only can be chosen, Fine. not both. Fine. But he has to choose at least one remote. At least he has to choose one. That is why it has now become a radio button, actually. In the second one, what happens? OP is no. That means what? You can choose the two year warranty as well as UPS as well as the exclusion test. All the three items you can choose now. I don't remember the fourth item, which is not, he's not going to touch anything. What happens? It will not be listed here for him. You go there. It will only show things. So if you want, you can even choose all the three also. Fine. <coughs> you can go there. But at least one he has to choose now because what happens? OP is no. no. He has to choose either this or this or this or all the three he can choose. Final ones. So that is why what happens? It now comes as a checkbox actually. And go there. The next one is OP is yes, no. Fine, it is optional. And then the mandatory is what? Maximum museum mutual exclusive is yes, no. That means what? You can choose a 720p camera or a 1820p camera. Fine, but not both basically. Only one of the cameras you can choose. That is why what happens is no radio button now. Fine, click on it. So you can choose this or this. Fine, go, there. go there. And the final one is what? OP is yes, and then ME is no. That means what? It is optionally optional actually. And then you can choose the graphics card or joystick or both also you can choose. Now. Fine. The mouse pad will be free for him now. Fine. Go there. So the mouse pad will not be listed over here for his configuration. Fine. Go there. So this is how the OP and ME works now. Basically. So if ME is on, what happens? It will not go as a radio button. If ME is off, it will not come as a checkbox actually. Fine. Go as you give a cancel. Fine. The first one is not. Now, what we have to do is in the configurator, we can make a guided selling actually. Fine. We have to make a guided selling. And so what happens, we will now create one more supplementary structure. Here, what happens, everything is a structure. Every option class is basically a structure actually. Fine. All the things are structure actually. So we will now create one supplementary structure for this. Go there. Let me create a supplementary structure for guided selling. So we have to guide him in what happens, choosing his components actually. So go there, go to the actions, and then here, click on create, and then we will now create an option feature. So actions create create an option feature. Fine, click on it now. So here, what happens? I will not say I will not make it as what test one. I mean test one. So go there, click on it now. I will not take copy of it and then put the description now. <clears throat> so on the description, I'm putting it now. So how much is the minimum selection? Always make it as a zero actually. Fine. That means what he may use this supplementary structure or he may not also use. If you say one, what happens? He is forced to use. Fine, he is forced to use. It will be coming to the bit later now. Fine, go there. What exactly is not? Fine, go there. It is zero. Now. And then the maximum selection, we can say only one you are going to select. Now. Fine, and then you wait so. And then do not enable option quantities. Now, fine for this. I will not enable it and then show it to you. Fine, how it will now look like. Fine, click on OK now. I will not enable the option quantity. Fine, go there. So the maximum quantity per option, I will not make it as a one. Now, fine. Don't do it on this. Now, fine. An option feature. Fine, go there. If at all it is required, then only you have to use it. In my exercise, I am not going to enable it. So I am enabling it and then showing it to you. Fine, go there. The enable option quantities. Click on OK now. So by which what happens? My test one is now ready. So below which I am not going to create an options on this. So I am now already, I am now in this space. I now go there, go to the test one now. So here I go there, click on what happens, the create option. I click on create option. But I will now say test option now. Test option one now. I go there. Uh, take a copy of it and then put on the space now. And then click on apply and create another now. <clears throat> I will now create test option two now. So go there. So I am now creating two such options for him to do it. I go there, click on OK. So it's all done now, fine. I have created one supplementary structure. This is called a supplementary structure. This is a main structure, actually. Every option class will now come as a main structure. And then I have created one supplementary structure mainly for guided selling, actually. Fine. It will now help him in doing it now. Fine. I click on save now. I have to save it now, first of all, after you make it now. I click on test model. So once we need test model, fine. Click on OK now. Fine. Click on OK. Now, what happens? You cannot see. Then what happens? Now, this is now coming. And then he has to choose this now. Fine. Go there. And then again, against which what happens in the quantity is also coming. 
this is really actually meaningless actually the quantity is meaningless and so what happens don't create with with this now fine with this quantity that so it's a wrong one now but if at all if, if you want like this then only what happens you have to create it now. in my exercise what happens i don't need this actually this quantity field i don't need it now so give a cancel now so let me delete this supplementary structure now fine go there click on it so let me delete it now fine select it and then click on delete now. and then i will not create a proper one now click on okay so uh, if you if a real requirement is to create a supplementary structure with the options then you do it otherwise what happens don't do it now so i am not telling all the options which are available that's why what happens you can now do the configuration for your customer in a very proper manner one second now so i have now started the recording now i had to milk now let me create my supplementary structure which is going to be useful for guided selling actually and go select it and then go to actions and then go to create and then i am going to create an option feature click on create option feature now now i will now say uh, it is desktop packages so i am now going to create a this thing called desktop packages and take a copy of it now go there click on description now paste it and then the minimum selection i am going to make it as zero the maximum selection you can choose is only one and go there i do not enable the option quantities if at all is required then only do it for this exercise is not required so if your requirement is so then what happens enable it otherwise don't enable it now make it as a zero otherwise what happens it will not become a mandatory uh, supplementary structure now so go there and then it is not a optional supplementary structure now i click on okay now fine by which what happens the, the supplementary structure called desktop packages is now created so below which what happens i now go on and get an option now go there click on it i will now create an option for this now you drop down this one previously initially what happens i didn't action then go to create and then i did the option future now i go there now after having done this you keep a cursor on the supplementary structure and then here what happens go there click on the create option i will now say regular desktop <clears throat> so there the one and go there so apply and create another now and go there click on take copy and then for the description now apply and create another now so here go there i will now say business desktop so go there you take a copy of it and then put the description now and then click on apply another i will now say gaming desktop and go there So you go there and then take a copy of it now, and then put in the description now, and then click on OK. By which what happens? We have now created three such options for the what happens supplementary structure actually. Fine. You go there, click on Save now, and then let us now test it now. Fine. Go there, click on it. I will now save. Before testing it, what happens? You always save it now. Fine. Click on Test Model, test the model, and then click on OK now. Fine. And then you can see that what happens? You will be having this. If you drop down, what happens? You can choose the regular. You can choose the regular, or you can choose what the business, and then here what happens? You can choose the gaming. so one of them gets so the supplementary structure is ready for guided selling actually now what happens i am now going to create a rule now i will not create a rule for which what happens i will be what happens choosing different components of this different option classes basically maybe rule so click on it and then it does not create a rule so this is the way we have to create the supplemental structure you may create n number of supplemental structures depending upon the actual requirement any doubts on this now okay now let us go to the rules part and then create a rule now for so go there so one supplementary structure with the three options that we selected apart from that what happens we have the four option classes on this as a main structure actually they are the main structure structure components basically and then one supplementary structure is also i go to the rules now let me create a rule so here what happens i'll now go there let me go and then create a rule if i go to actions and then create what happens i will now first of all create a folder now rule folder i will now create so we can group the rules into different folders so that what happens you can very easily go on and diagnose it if your if your configurator is so so big what happens always keep them in the appropriate folder so that what happens you can search your rule very fast actually so click on rule folder now i will now say what happens i'll now say desktop packages so go there i will now make a folder now fine the folder is nothing but a container of rules actually and go there so click on okay by which what happens the folder gets created below so below the folder what happens i will now create a rule fine keep your cursor on the appropriate folder and then start to create the rule fine go there click on it so let us go there action create and then what happens i will now go to statement rule so the folder is created now we are going to go and get a statement rule now. statement rule so the first one is what i will now say what happens uh, uh, so the regular desktop so regular desktop rule and go there works you take a copy of it now and go there paste it over here the first rule i'm going to uh, i will now 
what happens uh, i will know how regular desktop so click on okay where which whatever the rule is going to be created so the rule has to be written here actually the rule can be written by what happens a groovy language groovy language is the one or otherwise what happens we have a cdl language cdl stands for constraints definition language that is very easy actually so either cdl or groovy is used for writing the rules text actually so here what i'm going to do is we go there and then there are four different logical operators are there so i'm going to use all those things for every we have got four option classes i'll be using one one each on every what happens option classes actually i know that what else so if the customer is going to choose the regular desktop on the desktop packages what is going to do that is what the rule is going to do i expand it expand the structure actually. expand the structure here what happens i go there so if the desktop package fine is going to be regular desktop if this is going to be regular desktop i know that so these are all the components of your structure actually you have a model below which what happens we have a supplemental structure and then we have three options for the supplemental structure and then afterwards what happens we have the main structures over here and remember the rules can be created only for the structure whether the structure is for the main or supplemental right the supplemental or main structures we can only create a rule not for other things remember fine i'll be explaining a bit later about this now fine brother so again i'm telling you the rules can be created only for the main and supplemental structures and its components basically now we have a supplemental structure it has got three options now or otherwise what happens we have a mandatory option class it has got how many it has got two components and then likewise what happens we'll be having many many so only for these things whatever is there in the structure what happens we can get a rule not for other things now not for the other display properties basically so the displayed ones cannot be used for creating a rule actually fine that will be seeing it a bit later now or so i'm not telling you i will tell you what how we cannot create it later on so i keep my cursor of the appropriate fine for the regular desktop if the customer chooses regular desktop add it your cdl actually fine go there so click on plus so you keep your cursor of the appropriate one then click on plus what happens the entire path gets added as such this orders so here i will now use the first operator now fine go there click on the logic operator so if this is if the customer has chosen regular desktop it implies what it implies what happens you go there and then on the first one on the what happens you go there on the mandatory option class i will not say it's a 8 gb ram i click on it it implies 8 gb ram i will not choose the appropriate component of a structure path and then click on plus that gets added to the cdl actually so this means what if the model desktop packages dot regular desktop you can even write it manually but this is the easy way to choose it actually if i'm writing it you may be even making some what happens syntax mistakes on other things and then here what happens you give a semicolon on this now and then make a validation click on validation it will not show there is no error now and after semicolon what happens you give enter i will not go for the second one second one now what happens i am not going to go for the same option now if the customer is again selecting a regular desktop fine for the second line in the second line you keep a customer the second line regular desktop and then click on plus now that comes over here now fine go there i will not choose the second logical operator fine go there click on it i will not say requires i will not go there it requires and then i will not choose what you go down on the next one i will not choose it now fine go there click on it now fine go there on the next one now fine go there on the 7003 or i will not choose the first first items fine go there click on it now and then click on add now fine keep your cursor again here and then afterwards add it now otherwise what happens the beginning added somewhere else fine give your cursor and then it's a two year warranty click on plus now that gets added now. i will not put a semicolon over here now fine go there and then go to the third line and then again choose the same one now fine go there so click on the same one now fine go there so first first is easy that is why what happens i'm not choosing this now fine go there click on it i will not add this now if the customer chooses regular desktop fine click on it now fine go there i will not choose the third operator now fine go there click on logical operator third operator is button negates the gates and go there so in this place what happens i will not choose the third one on this now and go down and go there i will not choose the third one now and go there the first one uh 7002 7003 7004 i will not choose it now and go there i will not choose the 7004 now expand the 7004 now the first one i am choosing it now just for easy understand and go there one and go there i will not keep a cursor again click on it and do it now fine do not click on the plus directly after having chosen this you keep a cursor inside the cdl area the constraints definition language area and then click on plus now that gets added up now fine go there i will not put a semicolon over here fine go there go for the final one fine go there so there are four different logical operators we are not testing it first of all go there you click on it now fine go there so here what happens if the customer is choosing a regular desktop and go there keep your cursor over here and then afterwards add it that gets added up fine go there i will not choose the logical operator fine exclusion and go there and then here it is now going to exclude the fourth one now fine go there click on it now go down <clears throat> i will not choose that right the fourth one now and go there the fourth one the first component so just for easy understanding what happens i'm not choosing the first component for the rule now and go there click on it i will not choose the graphics card and go there 
So keep your cursor over here and then uh, click on add now find the orders. And then what happens? Uh, put a semicolon and then what happens? You validate the rule. So click on validate. So we have chosen all the four logical operators now fine for testing it actually fine. Implies, requires, negates and exclusion. Implies, requires, negates and exclusion. Remember now, I go there. Give us same. And then now, let us now go on and make a test of it. Now. Click on save. You know, that's just, so let us know. So implies, remember the option now fine. First is implies, requires, negates and exclusion. So click on test model. So click on the test model. So here what happens, you cannot leave it as such now fine. Go there. The pricing is enabled. Click on OK now fine. After saving it only, you have to test it. Now I go there. Bonus. So now, as of now, what happens? You cannot see that what happens. Nothing is now chosen actually. I go there. Now minimize it actually. So that what happens? Everything will be visible in one screen. It's not. So it's now slightly less in there. What happens? You go there. Okay. Everything is now visible in one page. And all the four. So let us now go. Then what happens? You go there. Go to regular. Now. Regular desktop. He's going to choose it now. The moment you choose it, as of now, what happens? Nothing is chosen over here now. I go there. Click on it. He is now choosing the regular desktop. So the moment you choose the regular desktop, what happens? The DT8 GB RAM is now selected with the option class. The second one is now put as a zero. And then here also, what happens? The first one is now put a tick mark. No, this implies. The second one is requires. No, the third one is negated. No, fine. Now this camera is negated actually, and then the fourth one is excluded actually. Fine. So in the fourth one is exclusion. What happens on the graphics card? It does not put a zero actually. It gets excluded. This is what it means. So this is an implies rule now. This is a, what happens a requires rule now. And this is what yeah, what happens yeah, negates rule. And then this is the exclusion rule now. Any doubts on this now? And most likely make it big now. So this is the implies rule, this is the requires rule, and then this is the exclusion rule, and then this is the negation rule. Now, having chosen this, what happens? You can even override on this also. You can even very well override actually. So he can even override the selection actually. The system is saying if it is a regular desktop, it has to be selected, and then this is required, and then this has to be excluded, and then this has to be negated, and then this has to be excluded. This is what I say. But he can always override it. Now let us now say it is an implies one. So he is going to select this now. Fine, click on select. He selects it. Now what happens? A warning message is coming. So the item DT16 GB RAM is currently excluded actually because there is an implied actually. Continuing will undo these previous actions now. Fine. Selection of item, regular desktop. It will now undo this now. This is what I said. Fine. Click on OK now. So you have selected the regular desktop. That will be undone actually. If you select it now, if you are trying to override it. So what happens? The regular desktop will be undone now. Fine. Click on S yes, now. Fine. The regular desktop gets undone. You have selected it. So what happens? It is now undone. The next one is what? Uh, uh, actually, when you select the regular desktop, it requires this two year warranty. And I will again go on and do it. If I go there, click on regular. If you have a regular desktop, what happens if you click on yes now? Fine. The regular desktop, I'm putting it now. It requires this two year warranty. If you go for the 16 GB RAM, what happens? It automatically makes it a zero now. Fine. This is for a selection of regular desktop. This is required for regular desktop. But if you're overriding this now, fine, go there. This becomes a null. And then what happens? This it now puts a zero false. You click on it now, fine. I will again show it. You find it on it now. So click on OK. The regular desktop will be removed, and then the two year warranty will be made as zero actually. Fine. Click on OK now, fine. So here, what happens? Now made as zero. This was zero actually. This is basically for negation now. Fine. Now, what happens? This is now on actually, and then the other one is negated actually. And then here, what happens? Uh, the what's called exclusion is removed actually. So the way in which it is behaving, when you override the selections, you have to understand clearly now. You take a notes of it. Otherwise, what happens? You go through the configurator document. It's all explained it very beautifully how it's all done actually. Fine. So this way, you have to what happens? Verify these things now. So this is on options selection actually. Fine. We have got four different options for writing the rule actually. One is what implies. One is requires, and then one is this. Now let me go there. I will now select on this now. Fine. Go there. Regular desktop. So here, what happens? You know, if you're the regular desktop, first, 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 all the first items are not. This is implied. This is required. This is excluded. This is negated, and then this is excluded. Now, now here, what happens? I go there and make a change. Now, on the implies, when you make a change, it now seen this. Now, fine, go there. Now, on this one, I will now make a change. Fine, go there. So click on what happens. I will now put a UPS also. Fine. Here, you can even choose multiples also. Fine, select it now. And then let me now. No change is happening. Now the system has recommended this. Now let me remove the required one. Now, fine, click on required. One. Now it's saying the regular desktop will go away. Govinda, Govinda, regular desktop will not go away. And click on another one. So click on yes now. Fine. Since you're choosing it now, it is not gone now. Here, what happens? Nothing is selected actually. The implies is nothing actually. 
Whereas in the previous one, when you remove it, what happens? The requires has now become zero actually. The requires has now put a zero. And again, go on until you find go that. So this is what this is the difference between implies and this thing. Fine, go that what else? So you're choosing it now. Fine. Here, if I choose this now, fine. This is a required one for a regular desktop. Fine. If regular desktop is not there, it is not a required one actually. So if you choose this now, click on it now, fine, go there. And then the regular desktop goes away, then what happens? It puts a zero. It is not a required, it is no more a required one. It is required only for the regular desktop. But again, what happens? You can overwrite this. Fine. Click on overwrite and then do it now. Fine. Overwrite and then do it now. Fine. Go there. So here, what happens? Selecting the external warranty is currently excluded now. Fine. So continuing with that, what happens? With the 16 GB gone. Fine. Item selection will be 16 GB RAM. Actually. Fine. Go there. So click on it now. Fine. Continuing will undo this selection also. 16 GB RAM. Fine. Click on it now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So I'm telling it what happens. It says this is the required component for 8 GB RAM actually. When it when you make a regular desktop, what happens? It is an implied selection, but what happens? This is a required selection for a regular desktop. So go there. Then what happens? This if you make it as on, the desktop automatically becomes 8 GB and not the 16 GB. It's slightly complicated. What happens? You have to understand about the implies as well as it implies means what? It means that you have to do it now. But if it is required, the required is tied along with the option. The required is tied along with the option. And similarly, what happens, you can now see the negation as well as the exclusion. They don't have much of a participation, but the implies and requires play a much of a participation. Now is the regular desktop. Here, what happens, it is now negated actually. Fine. If you go there, and then if you put the values one now, fine, go there. It will now say, what happens, selection of item, what happens, it will now say, uh, the two-year warranty. Fine, go there. That is the required one. Fine, go there. That will go away. So if you choose this now, fine, what happens, the regular desktop is gone. And then what happened? The required is also made as zero actually. So when you are choosing any of these things, what happens? The, the desktop package selection is going away, and then you only have to manually select whatever you want. That is what it is. And then it automatically deselects certain things also. So this is the explanation on implied, required, and then negates, and then excludes. Just make an R and D, and then what happens? See over how it's all working now. I know that click on it. I will not cancel. So we have completed the first rule now. Let me go on and delete the rule and then I'll locate the second rule. Click on it. Go there. So here, what happens? The desktop rule now. So let me delete this rule. So I'm deleting the rule. Go there. And then I will now give a save. Let me create the next rule. So before which, what happens? I will now create a structure actually. Go there. So click on it. Let me create another structure. Fine. This is an option structure actually. Fine, let me create another structure. Fine, go to the actions and then click on create. So we are now created what? An option structure. You keep your custom the model and then what happens? Then only you can create it now. So go to actions and then go to create. So what happens? Then only the other structures will be coming now. Fine, if you are keeping your custom from the what happens? The supplemental structure, we cannot create a structure at all. We cannot create a structure at all. It's not possible. So keep your custom from the model and then what happens? Now create one more, the next supplementary structure now. The first one is the desktop package. And then next one, what I'm going to create, then go there. Click on it now. So you go to actions and then go to create now. So click on create now. Here, what happens? I will now say integer future. Fine, go there. Click on the integer future. So the integer future, I'm going to choose it now. Fine, go there. I will now say integer test. Fine, integer test. So otherwise, what happens? I will now say uh, what happens? Uh, how many? Uh, I will now say how many are going to use use this desktop. So put the meaningful name on desktop. How many are going to use this? Fine, coin, coin, and then ask a question. How many are going to use this desktop? And go there, click on take out for me, and go there. And then I can say at least one has to use now. Fine, the maximum person you can use is four. Notes. Four persons are going to use now. Some, some question I'm going to do now. And, go there. and then there are so many domain ordering that you try to understand all these things by selecting different things, how they are behaving actually. And go there, click on okay. So minimum is one, maximum is four. Fine, click on okay. How many persons are going to use this desktop? And go there. So here, what happens? This is basically an integer one. Fine, go there. So we cannot add any options at all for this. Only for an optional package. This is an optional package. Fine, this is an optional future now. Only for an optional future supplemental package, we can add options below it now. Fine. For an integer, we cannot add it. For an integer, we cannot add it. So for an integer, how many is the integer? Integer, uh, what happens? Supplemental package now. Supplemental structure actually. This we cannot add it. I give a save now. Let us now go on the right rule first. Click on the rules. And then I have deleted the rule. Fine, only for testing purposes, we are creating all these rules. Now, fine, go there. Click on it. And then let us now create a rule. I click on create rule. I will now get a statement rule. Folder is there. I don't know what exactly is an extension rule, but what I was, uh, normally we'll be reading only a statement rule. Fine, click on create a statement rule. Fine, go there. Fine. 
how many will use this desktop. <coughs> so always try to give a meaningful name for each and every where, wherever you are giving a name and description. Now find that. Click on it now. And click on OK now. Find that. It's a constant actually. I will not write it. So here, what I'm going to do is I will now go there, and then here I will now add the structure element actually. So this is a desktop package. Now find First of all, the first element I had added now. So here, uh, what happened? Now? This is the one. Mandatory accessory option class. Everything is now there. You can save now. We have now created an integer one now. Why is not coming the structure actually? It has to come there. After desktop patches, what happens with this one? Then go there, click on it now. It's coming in the back. No, no layer has been. Why it is not coming? You will save and then save and close and then come out of it and then do it now. So let me open it up now. Click on it. So here, what happened? It is not there at all. Here, here it is there. It is already there. So it will not have any uh, this thing now. It is already there now. Find the integer feature now. System default is there. Uh, domain order new system default. And go to the rules now. So in the rules, what happens if you go there? And then how many are going to be there now? Find what us. You will save now. And then here for this rule, what happens? I'm now going to add this now. I expand the structure and then use this now. Then go there. Yeah, it is not going. To, I think I have to save it and close now. It's not coming now. So choose the appropriate one. How many are going to use this desktop? Click on add. So before adding it, you keep your cursor on this now. Fine. Click on plus now. Fine. So first of all, save at every point of time. Otherwise, it will not be coming. Fine. Go there. I will not say use the first one now. Fine. Go there. Implies. Implies means what? This means now basically requires. Don't try to avoid the requires actually. And try to use only implies basically. Implies is a very easy one. Fine. Go there. Click on implies. It means what? If what happens, uh, uh, what happens? Uh, okay, I will not say uh, uh, is equal to. Fine, is equal to. Fine, let's say or it's not going to be greater than. Fine, go there, greater than. So greater than two. Fine, go there, greater than two. If more than two processors are going to use, what happens? We'll not give a powerful. What happens? Uh, your processor basically. Fine, go there. Give space now. Fine, go there. And now what happens? No, add the processor. So go there. Another uh, higher capacity one. Fine, go there. This one. What happens? You go there. Choose it now. You go there. I will not choose the 16 GB RAM now for this one. Fine. I will not keep my cursor over here and then click on plus now. That gets added up. Fine, go there. So semicolon. And then here, what happens? You go there. And then let us not test it now. Fine, go there. Give a save and then click on validate now. Fine, go there. If it is more than two, I will be giving a 16 GB RAM. Now. Uh, error has been found on line one, column 63. Now. It is basically what? It is an integer feature, isn't it? Fine, integer feature. It is greater than two now. Fine. More than. One, two, three, seven thousand four. What is the mistake here? Where is the mistake I made? How many persons are going to use this one? Let me again create it now and go there. <clears throat> so click on it now. I will not change this now. How many persons are going to use it now? Click on it and then click on plus now. Fine. Is equal to, I will not say equal to, I will not put it, and I will not say two space. I will not say logical operator implies and go there, click on it now. I will now add what happens 16 GB RAM now. Click cursor over there. And then click on plus now. Go there. Semicolon. And then click on validate now. Now it's not having any error now. Go there, click on it. So I write it properly now. Fine, we will save now. So if it is equal to, you can even use all these operators now. Fine. It is equal to, not equal to, less than, and then what happens, all these things and then and or not. Fine. There are so many operators are there, fine. Oh, my arithmetic operators, and then we have brackets also, and then there are so many functions are also available. Logical functions, if you see, if you click on the logical, what happens? All true, all these things are available here. Arithmetic functions are available here now, and then trigonometric functions, and then set functions, and then string functions. There are plenty of things we can write on the rule, and then configure, configure the rule. Now I just made a two now, fine. Well, I click on test model now. I will now go on and click on it. So if what happens the number of persons we are going to use? What happens if how many persons are going to use two? What happens the 16 GB RAM will be selected? I give it two and then give a tab now. If you give a tab, we can now see what happens. That has now become zero. This is selected now. Fine, go there. Continue, we will undo the previous selection of this now. Fine, go there. Currently required now. Item 16 GB RAM is currently required actually. Uh, continue, we will undo. Fine, setting values for item, how many are going to be to two? Fine, do you want to continue? Click on yes now. Fine, I don't know why this warning has come now. Fine, go there. Oh God, it is no undo. 
and if you do on the what happens a three if you give a tap nothing happening but if it is a two what happens the rule is firing but what happens it is not giving a warning now so let us now modify the rule now fine click on cancel now fine there is some some mistake on the rule actually and click on it now let us not try to put it what greater than two now fine greater than greater than two so one to four there so greater than two greater than two implies so and so now fine go there click on save now let us now validate the rule now click on validate it now so there is no error at all fine click on test model click on test model fine go there click on okay now the changes will be or uh, will be saved okay man i think i have not saved it properly so this way it's not giving a warning for the same i will not say greater than 2 fine go that 3 and then give a tab now it is not choosing properly again okay, a warning is coming now fine uh, the uh, is currently required actually how, how come it is required actually <coughs> 16 gb ram is required now <coughs> it has chosen properly actually but the warning message is also coming i don't know so <coughs> maybe you have to use what happens in stop implies what happens let me put that required now no put a required over here no fine logical operator is required and no requires i am not putting it let me delete this implies now go there and then click on what happens is save now and then validate it now <coughs> the rule error is detected no errors were there so click on test now right click on okay now so it's what a greater than 2 now fine so if you go and then put the three over here now i will click on that what happens is again giving a warning now. i don't know why so we want to continue if you give a yes now what happens we must the three goes away actually if you give a no <coughs> the three doesn't go away <coughs> i don't know what exactly is the mistake now fine try to find out identify the mistake and then what happens is try to correct it actually fine i may be reading in a problem in pop and uh, maybe implies and requires may not be or the statement itself may not be correct actually and the way in which you are writing it now fine greater than 2 i have to put the integers is it necessary to put in a, what happens a, a quote or something like that now so i'm going to put a double quote now fine go there and greater than with a double a double quote i'm putting it now fine go there give a same now and then let me validate anybody here has got any idea about this fine error is account i do not accepting it 7001 model fine go there boss do not accepting it now so and requires what are the other operators not doing that yes it is implies and requires my brother okay there is some mistake here fine it is not exactly working as such now fine with a with a single code i will not try now fine a single code no no generally only expressions would be in quotes here in ha 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 okay only expressions will be code okay man go there yo i am not you just make a check and then write to me about how to write it now fine go there i don't put a single quote fine the note 2 was not found actually fine go there <laughs> it is a integer actually fine go there so that is why what happens it has to be uh, it has to accept this now fine go there to <coughs> requires some writing it now but while uh, validating it it is not giving any error actually at run time it is giving error actually so now also is error now but it's working right now na it's selecting that 16 gb ram right what is the issue no yeah is you know, giving a warning also for me that is the issue no go there no that request to here what happens if you say more than 2 fine give a save now and then click on validate now <clears throat> click on okay now and then click on test model now go there so click on okay now and go there yes so click on yes now so now if i go and then put a value of 3 now fine more than 3 this warning message is coming now can if you give a no then only it is selecting it actually can can we delete that or hide that default packages maybe earlier when you have regular and then you choose something else no that is already deleted actually no fine the tool itself is deleted actually it showing right uh, desktop packages there whether it's a regular Mm -hmm. yeah that is not there at all the rule what happens if you go on and see the rule itself is not there at all right now how many will use the desktop this is the only rule which is there actually the previous rule i have deleted it actually mm. okay fine uh, this is the uh, integer part now fine go there i will not go go to this place i will not make the next one so click on it now go there so the third type of what happens is go there you go to actions and then here go to the create now 
I will not go to the decimal feature now. Fine. The integer feature has been tested now. Fine. I will go to the decimal feature. So click on the decimal feature. So I am now going to create what happens to the thing. Fine. I will now say decimal feature test. Fine. The decimal feature test now. So decimal feature test. Fine. Take it out it now. Fine. For the description now. Minimum is zero, and then maximum is one now. Maximum is what? I will now put one now. And then this is what a system default when click on okay now. <clears throat> so zero to one, I'm not putting it now. And then I'm not that is it. Fine, give a save now. Fine. My decimal is ready. I will now go on the right rule for the decimal. So here I have this rule now. I have one more rule fine. Below which I will not create one more rule now. Fine. So click on actions and then click on create and then create a statement rule now on decimal. I will now say decimal test rule. So the customer is now going to put a decimal value over here. If you put it, what happens? We'll see. We'll click on OK now. So here I will now write a rule now for the decimal. I go there. I'll now write a rule. I go there. You go to the what's called decimal feature test, and then click on, click on add now. Go there. Click on it, and then click on add now. I will now say. Uh, I will now say it's equal to equal to was working for me. I don't know why it's so. Let's say he is now putting a value of zero point four five. I will now put an implies now. Fine. I done it and then it worked. It implies means what I go there. I will not choose something else now. In the accessories, let me choose something else. I will not choose what a UPS, let me choose it now. I go there, click on it and then click on plus now. And if you put it, what happens? This will be chosen actually. You can even write multiple lines basically and click on save now. So let us now check this. this what happens? The decimal one now and click on validate now. No errors with it. Click on save and then test it. So if you put on the decimal 0.45, the UPS will be chosen now. I click on it now. I click on this model now. I click on OK now. <clears throat> so click on OK. And then here, what happens? You go there. And then if you put the decimal value, the UPS has to be selected actually. This UPS has to be. So if you put 0.45 and then give a tab now, the UPS gets selected actually. This is working properly. The integer, there may be some mistakes. Actually. In place works very perfectly actually. So if you put 0.5, Fine, some value you put it and go there, and then that is not getting selected. So you can use this decimal feature. What happens to choose some of your components basically? Got it now. Fine, give a cancel now. <clears throat> click on S now. Fine, go there. And then we'll now go for the third rule actually. Fine, go there. Click on it now. Fine, that is the last rule for the day. I will now continue on tomorrow actually. Fine, go there. So we want us go there. Go to the structure and then create one more supplemental structure actually. Fine, go there. Click on actions. And then here, what happens? You keep your cursor on this now. Fine, go there. The model, you go there, click on the cursor, and then go to actions, and then go to create now. So we have completed the options, integer, decimal, and then I will now go for the Boolean feature. Boolean feature, I'm going to write now. Go click on it. Boolean feature, I will now say Boolean feature. Boolean feature, and go there. You take a copy of it and then put it in the description now. Go there. So click on OK now. <clears throat> the Boolean feature is now going to be tested now. Click on OK now. And then it is only preferably false or true now. Fine, go there. I will not say by nature what happens, it will be always be true. If you want, you can uncheck it actually. So otherwise, make it as false. There's no done. I go there. Click on save. The, the structure is now created. So we are now given options structure actually. And then afterwards, what happens? We are now given a what's called integer structure, then the decimal structure. Now we are now into the Boolean structure. Actually. You go to the rules and then we'll now write a rule for the Boolean now. Fine, go there. I'll now go there. Click on actions and then go to create. And then we'll now create all of the statement rule. Is a Boolean rule. So Boolean rule, I'm going to create my take over it. Put on this one, paste it over there. So click on OK now. Let me write it now. So here, what happens? You go to the structure now. <clears throat> if you go to the structure, what happens? You can now see choose the Boolean one now. Uh, decimal is coming. Boolean is not yet coming now. I'm going to click on save and close now. Sometimes it doesn't come over here now. And then open it up now. <clears throat> and then you go to the rules area. And then open up the rule now and go there. Uh, we are not created a rule for the actions and go to create a Boolean rule now. Oh, we are now created a rule now. Fine, go there. Uh, we already created the rule now. Isn't it? In the desktop packages itself, the rule is there. Yeah, the Boolean rule is there now. Fine, go there. So for the Boolean rule, I'm going to write this now. Fine, go there. Click on statement now. So on the Boolean future, what happens is select it. And then here, what happens is you click on plus now, fine, that comes over here and go there. If the Boolean future <coughs> fine, is equal to, fine, is selected actually. Uh, if it is selected, is there any operator for selected actually? Uh, there is no operator for selected. The keywords, if you drop it down, 
not like like everything is now coming. Oh God, there is no system. I can go there. In the functions also, what happens that we don't have any function for selection actually. Logical functions, arithmetic functions. What we can write? I will not say equal to one. I will not say. I will not say that it works or not. I go there. I will not add the operator of implies now. I go there implies, and I will not add something as a way. I will not go to the games now. Uh, games and then I will not say the joystick. Let me add it. Keep a cursor over here now. Let me put the trust. So semicolon and then click on save now. Go there. Click on validate now. It is now validated. Fine. Go there. Click on it and then go to the test mode. So click on OK now. <clears throat> click on yes for saving actually. Go there. So if you put this boolean as on now, what happens? The joystick has to become on. Right? The joystick has to become on. So let me put the tick mark on the boolean now. So once I put tick mark, the joystick is becoming on. So if you remove it, what happens? The joystick will go away. So we can use this type of a supplemental structure to what happens? You configure your requirement actually. So you know, understanding about it, and then try to what happens? Improvise the rules actually. Fine, the rules are the one uh, which are really tough actually. Fine, writing writing it very properly. So if you write it properly, what happens? Everything will work. So now what happens, it's almost 11 o'clock and so what happens, we've got a lot to cover actually. Uh, I thought that I can cover in one session, but what happens is not possible actually. So I will now, we'll now meet tomorrow and then we'll now continue on part three on this configurator. Any questions on this now? So uh, we are now, trying. we are now almost, we have to have only one more thing called text structure actually. Right? So once when that is done, what happens, this is the, the structure part creation is now complete. We have to go for the next actually. And please don't modify anything on this now, fine. Otherwise, what happens? I have to create everything new now. And please don't touch my structure, 7001, fine. This is my wife. Please don't touch it at all. <laughs> so while you're testing it, what happens? You test on yours now. Fine. Don't touch mine, actually. <clears throat> so that what happens? You can, uh, what happens? You can also, if you want to create everything, what happens? I'll be uploading uh, the structure exercise onto the, what's called, onto the Google Drive now. And then we'll again meet at 9.30 tomorrow and then we'll now continue on this. Hopefully, what happens, let us now try to complete everything tomorrow. Any questions now? Okay, if there are no other questions, we'll now call it a day now. We'll now meet at 9.30 p.m. tomorrow. 9.30 p.m. India tomorrow. And then what happens, we'll now continue on this configurator actually. Hello? Anybody there? Yeah, no, no. Bye for now. Yeah, bye. It's complicated, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, yeah. We'll continue on the configurator tomorrow. Fine. Configurator part three will be continued tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.